the energy sector is facing a drastic shift towards clean, affordable and distributed future. While traditional energy production is more stable and predictable, allowing easy optimization based on consumption forecasts, renewables are volatile and so production becomes less predictable and all players involved need to adapt. Electric vehicles are taking a significant role in the energy system. For the system, they are not just vehicles, but rather big batteries on wheels. As an EV driver, I want to plug in my car in the evening and wake up battery full in the morning. But the energy system needs something else. So while I'm sleeping, my home charging service optimizes my charging based on the amount of energy I need, charging power and even local hourly electricity price rates. So while my car is plugged in, it's also automatically connected to an aggregated reserve pool that we use mostly for frequency containment reserves. This means that we are able to upregulate and downregulate the charging power during the charging event. This is taking place maybe once a day, twice a day, for one minute sequences. So the user might not even notice that this is actually happening. When there are several cars connected to the same building, same neighborhood or even same grid area. We're able to cluster the chargers in a way that the collective amount of the charging power does not exceed the limits of the grid tolerance. When the amount of renewable production in the energy system increases, the energy storages are playing bigger and bigger part in the balance of the system. The new vehicle-to-grid standards allow us to connect electric vehicles in the energy system the same way we connect stationary storages. With these commercially available services, electric utilities can realize the full potential of electric vehicles as part of the energy system.